we're proud of the film, and you know, I think we, we at least very much tried to remain true to Charles Adams' original creations. Um, uh, but yeah, it, it, it's great to be able to introduce a new generation of these yeah. characters. I mean, we both grew up with, with the Adams family too, and it's uh, so to, to be involved and to be part of bringing them to a whole new generation is just, it's, it's a good feeling. The 1960s TV show when I was growing up in the UK as a kid, that was on TV all the time with John Astin and Carolyn Jones, it was fantastic. And I had always been interested in animation and in cartooning. And so I had looked back in, back then, back to where this show came from, and I discovered Charles Adams, and I thought it was just amazing. So that's where it started for me. Me too. I, I watched the TV show when I was a kid all the time, and I just remember one scene in particular where Morticia was having some normal ladies over for tea, <laughs> and the tea that she poured just came out in like a very thick gravy type of way, and it just weirded me out. And as a kid, I was like, Wow, that is really <laughs> gross and interesting, you know. And I, I don't know, they they just embodied like something that I'd never seen on TV before, at least in a weird, c creepy way. They're tight with each other, and they don't realize or recognize that they're strange at all. Mm -hmm. And in you know, truth be told, they're not. They're just themselves. You know, it's other people's perceptions of them that's strange. And I think that's very relatable, uh, regardless of whether it was back in the 1930s when Chaz Adams uh, first did the cartoons, through the 60s and the 90s and right up till now. It's, it's, it's a timeless uh, sort of dilemma that, uh, you know, people uh, sometimes fear the unknown or the quote-unquote strange or weird. Um, but the Adams family just they accept who they are and they accept everybody else around them for who they are. Well, and each other, and, and that's you know, a timeless message. In spite know? of the strangeness, yeah. it's they, their closeness and how much they, oh, love, they each love each is other is something to yeah. aspire to. We just had to know the source material very, very well, and luckily we're both fans. And when we went back and read all the old New Yorker cartoons, you just start to get this flavor of, of who he was. I mean, Charles Adams actually helped write and develop the TV show. Mm -hmm. So his sensibility was definitely in that TV show mm -hmm. as well as the cartoons. So it, you have to know it and you have to love it and you have to be a fan of it in order to get it. Not everyone can get that sensibility. Well, I think it was just super important to us because, you know, the times that we live in right now, it's, it's very important for people to just recognize that, uh, you know, acceptance is a wonderful thing. And, you know, just because somebody is different, be it on an individual level or, you know, a national level or an international level, it's not something to be afraid of. Um, it's something to embrace and understand. Um, and in this, the times that we live in right now, I, it's super important for people to remember that. So, and I think the Adams are a perfect poster family for, you know, hey, we're just the same as you. We just do things a little bit weirder than you do, but, you know, so. I had, uh, you know, a lot of these people in mind when I first, when we first started sitting down yeah. to cast this. And we were just lucky that every single person we called when we when we came up with them was was like sure I'd love to do it and and so we got the dream cast that we wanted absolutely yeah. and every single one of them was really really fun to work with and uh, what they brought to the table wasn't just a characterization but they brought like an accent and a background and uh, you know uh, having you know lived in another country and moved to this country and. You know, the, the fears and the hopes and dreams of, you know, anyone who comes to this country, they brought all that. Mm -hmm. So it was great working with them. Yeah, it's also brilliant, uh, a brilliant testament, testament to their brilliance as actors that they made these characters their own. Because everybody has their favorite iteration of who played Gomez or Wednesday or Morticia in past uh, versions of the Adams Family. And people have done it brilliantly through the years, but these guys want to just working with them, listening to them, and watching our movie, to me, it's just, yeah, that's Wednesday Adams. I've, 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 heard, people say, Wednesday Adams. I've heard people you know? say it's intimidating yeah. to play these characters, yeah. because when you're going up, like, between, you know, against, you know, Carolyn Jones and Angelica mm -hmm. Houston, you know, it's like, okay, there's some, there's some, there's you know, some heavy hitters there. There's some heavy hitters <laughs> there, but, you know, they pulled it off beautifully. They really made them their own.